What's up, everybody? Welcome to Just Roll With It. My name is Chip, and I play Bisley. My name is Gillian, and I'm played by Destiny. Hey, guys. I'm Jay Farron, and I play Condi. And my name is Grizzly, and I am the DM of the Riptide Campaign, and welcome to Just Roll With It, baby. Today, we are playing episode... 53 and we are uh, all dressed in our respective uniforms to get immersed in this very important session that we are going to take very very seriously audio listeners yeah, sure, are I guess. fully fully missing out this is 110 percent yeah. there's actually like what's happening so, right now so <laughs> massively yeah, there's so many things out. happening right now don't do it dude don't don't do that. i only get three don't. of these you only get three. I told him he has this prop gun. I told him he can only shoot it three times during the session because I kept Look firing at my little baby dice. Little really baby dice. I'm gonna use this to kill you guys. Oh, that's little, awesome, man. That's really cute. Like listen, to the, listen to hey. the cute little sound it makes when I roll it. We're dressed up. I'm Chip right now. You killed Chip. Do I die? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped it, bro. But you hear that shit? Dude, tiny. he's not well. Oh my god. He's not well. Ah, all right, guys. The Riptide Pirates found a familiar By and legendary done, blast from the past in the center of the Navy prison. However, another joined the reunion, and no matter what happens, our pirates, our crew. We'll just roll with it. Oh, he says the thing. That's my favorite part. Where we last left off. The three of you, Chip, Jay, and Gillian of the Riptide Pirates. After leaving the Edison Kingdom, you made your way to the Block, a shifting Rubik's Cube-esque prison. With the success of Chip's disguise as one of the Navy Ferrants, you entered the prison and into the first chamber where you faced a fiendish monster toad. The next area, you encountered what was a wider hallway with no conflict, only hopeless prisoners called strugglers, and a drunk former captain who told you the center of the prison was your way out. Despite also being told you'd never make it, you pressed on into the into the next random chamber and walked through an icy tundra. <laughs> Although Chip nearly freeze to death and the cold whittled you down, you found the body, the frozen statue form of your dear friend, Marshal John. John, John, no! Saving him and escaping into another hallway, leading into a new pathway, into a new room. This room, however, was made of muscle and flesh and mouths grew on your bodies, shouting things you'd never say. Intrusive thoughts you'd never give attention, deep secrets you'd never let out. Yikes. Jay was mostly spared from the situation, but not without earning Chip's distrust. The tension in the room welcome, didn't hold you back <laughs> for long, as you continued the prison venture into another area, this time a desert hotter than fire. Here, the three of you, besides Gillian, suffered from traumatic hallucinations, hurting yourselves and each other in the process. However, towards the end, Marshal John finally melted and was relieved from his icy petrification and the four of you eventually made it to the center of the prison. After walking through a pitch black room, you found an older man, physically injured to the point of visibility, surrounded by black obsidian walls, with one sliver of moonlight peeking through a hole in the ceiling. You stumbled upon and met a lost legend, a former pirate of the Black Rose, a hero and an uncle, Dre Farron. After a shock and conversation, another figure stepped into the entrance Can he leave? of this obsidian <laughs> dead end. In addition Oops, wrong way. to the reunion <laughs> of the Farrens. And so, the journey continues. Dude, you'll do great, Con. You look so fucking hot right now, man. Thank you, man. Jesus Christ. You guys yes. both strike fear into my heart. <laughs> Good, dude. I look over and all I feel is dread. I can't look up. My peripheral vision is 60% green, so I'm just... It's yeah, I can't even surprise. see you anymore, Bizzly, so... Before we ended, you watched as you were trying to help Dre up and he looked up with his one eye 
as the, as the figure stepped into the room, sorry, and he said, What's up, brother? And all of you look to where Dre is addressing. And Dre, you immediately make an, recognize this man, for the, but for the two of you. Oh, God. You see a tall man with very wide stature, his physique rivaling an Olympian, but oh, only a little more than Marshall John. His hair is like Jay's, bright oranges red, the top slicked back and tied tightly into the back. But the sides and the back of the head are shaved completely. His eyes are a fiery orange, his face is square and masculine, the jaw strong and slightly protruding, very stern in expression. He's very neat, and just by his appearance, he looks very disciplined. Mm -hmm. He wears a decorated navy suit, the jacket hanging off the shoulders like a cape, all white like his pants, red vest, golden tie, and golden shoulder pads with frills on the coat. He doesn't look around, or eye anyone else, nor respond to Dre. He looks dead at Jay, <laughs> and with his furrowed, stern expression, Jay gets into like a defensive position instantly. <laughs> I step away from Jay. <laughs> What the fuck, man? <laughs> you have a lot of explaining to do. What are you doing here? You are coming home with me now. I'm not ready to do that yet. This is not a question. I'm the not doing that. You can't make me. Oh, but I can. What have you been doing? Becoming a pirate? Sailing like a criminal? Leaving your mother by her defenseless self? She can take care of herself. She's always handled things alone. It's not like you're ever around to help her. And we probably do more good than you ever did. Actually. He eyes over to Gillian and the chip. <laughs> okay. Okay. I stand, I stand at attention. Yeah, we as well. <clears throat> Uh, th uh, that's right! And then his gaze meets yours again. Yeah. Oh. So... <laughs> is this some... crew... of yours? This is, this is Gillian. That's, that's, that's Chip. Even with a deer's insight, I can see that they are scum and weak. And traveling them will make you weaker. I am very, very disappointed but come and maybe i'll let them go i feel like such a disappointment <laughs> right now i did we, everything wrong I feel like a weasel. he's making me feel like he's a weasel. making me feel like a little sea rat you guys look over and you see that 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 jay when you guys are with her normally no she's terrified right now <laughs> this is not this is not a jay you know this is a this is a timid <clears throat> Hmm. Little girl. I go around her. I start rubbing her shoulders. <clears throat> go on, Jay. You got this. <laughs> you got this. What do you mean I got this? He's really he's so wide, but you've got this. God, just look at him, Jay. What you? Oh, shit, Jay. Okay, you've got this, though. <laughs> what do you mean I got this? What are you expecting me to do? Oh, God. Dre is just kind of like trying to pick up, but he's like... Like a little down, kind of just like hanging around Chip's shoulder. He's like, uh. <laughs> he's like, like just kind of like looking back and forth. Yeah, I kind of got it. He's a little silent at the moment. Marshall John looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Stiff as a boy. <laughs> he's like <laughs> stiff as a fucking boy. He's like out of tension. And he's got like the ripped sleeves off. But your father, who you know is full name, Jason Farron. <laughs> is not even looking at Marshall John. He only eyed these two for like a split second to basically judge them and then go right back to you. Can I roll a perception check? What are you looking for? Uh, thing of a jig. Ah, this will be a investigation. Dip and slip. Investigation. Deducing the location of a hidden well, object well. or a concealed weapon. Those are the kind of the same thing. It would be your destiny, but I don't know you're doing this, so. Um. It is not your destiny. It's low-key your destiny. Investigation. <laughs> it's high-key. Like, I ain't do shit about it, but low-key. Yeah, it's a 12. Not amazingly. Okay. Just looking around him to see if he has any 
sort of like unique item or weapon or something he's holding. You just don't catch anything that looks remotely similar to the cube itself mm. or anything like that. It's just your father and his uniform, stern. And he doesn't even seem to be holding any kind of weapon or anything of the sort. He is just hands kind of like at the sides, with like the fist kind of like balled. Or bald, yeah, so not like wide. bald, bald, but like yeah, yeah. bald fist. The, the fisted, yeah. But unfortunately. And what if I don't come with you? You're telling me you'd rather be a pirate? Turn on your family? Just like you're a good for nothing, uncle. I would never turn my back on my family, but. What the Navy's been up to lately, it's its unacceptable. My child. Ava died. Because of you. And you're walking around, parading with the kind of people that took her from us. Is that what you're trying to tell me? It's much more complicated than that. And at this point, you see <clears throat> Dre uh, finally lift up in this. Uh, come on, bro. Uh, go easy on her. She's just a little one. Yeah. <laughs> Stand kind of behind. So, me. <laughs> what, do all of you just look? Uh, so, how does Gillian and Chip look in this moment? I would say Chip is absolutely terrified, but also like trying to almost be steady, but not really. I'm what, trying to respectfully, sitting? respectfully hype man Jay, but every time he looks directly at, at me, I stop. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as Dre speaks that to Jason, or, or to only to Jay's knowledge, uh, he is a vice admiral. And uh, so vice admiral Farron, one of the many. When he responds to Dre, it is because she has whatever cursed blood you have that I am forced to discipline you in this way. You want to be a pirate so badly. Is that right? That's what you wish? Is that what you want to do? Oh God! Do you want? Do you want us to? We can. We can jump in. <laughs> I'm scared in real life, man. <laughs> she kind of looks down for a moment and like, yeah, takes a steady breath in and kind of looks up again towards her father. Yeah, this is what I want. He keeps eye contact with you. He breathes in. And I will show you how foolish you all are. Okay, guys. <laughs> uh, right, so, so just to uh, sort of uh, circle back around um, to, to bounce off what she was saying, actually, sorry. Um, but I, I mean... <laughs> your, um, your daughter... Has been doing a lot of good. He's still looking directly at Jay. Out. <laughs> <Stop looking at me. laughs> I. There. I know exactly the escapades you and your little motley crew. I've seen your new bounties. And if this is the life all of you chose, then I will show you what you're up against. And at this point, you guys see his eyes light up, and as they do, they get this red orangeous glow, and, it's, and the hair Why that's can't slicked I do back. That? I didn't know he could do that. The hair that's slicked back. It was already the, bad. It starts. It goes almost ignites like a torch, and his skin starts to become this golden color. Same with the entire suit. It's this uh, this fire ignites on his arm, um. and he's and he. Uh, it's almost like a, 
an extension of his of his arm and his fist and it makes it look extra, like extra, like much bigger and he just puts it towards his chest and then slings it out and just as he does that you guys see this giant ball of fire oh jesus holy fuck and at the same time chip oh next to you you see dre look up and open his other eye that showed that shut closed by the scar and the smell <laughs> dissipates god we're so anime the fair and family is awesome. anime your father looks down at Dre. I'm standing behind him, like hiding. <laughs> and his brow furrows. I guess I'll just have to end you here. Although I did come here to grant you your freedom. I didn't realize it would be freedom from life. And he like, just kind of jerks his arm in a, in a, like a downwards motion and it summons uh, almost, or it aberrates this long flaming golden sphere i need all of you to roll initiative oh, oh jesus God. christ what the oh, god fuck. how the fuck. fuck um guys i don't actually know if i want to fight this guy anymore i was sort of yeah i was talking mad shit sir before this and i i'd just like to formally apologize on behalf of me and my crew um <laughs> i i actually you know um yeah i'll join the navy <laughs> <laughs> Everybody goes before me, and that sucks. I got a 15. <laughs> okay, you got a 15? Yeah. Oh, you have a minus two? I have a minus two to initiative. Dude. Right, okay, I got a 17. Uh, let me roll Marshall John. Hey! 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 Marshall John! Okay, we've got this. We've got this. Well, no. Yes! Do you not remember that we were in a fight before this? Oh, I'm yeah, I'm actually... Several. I'm actually a little... What's your HP right now? Oh, it's, it's 53. Minus 15. We're still bonded, baby. I will say that Ding even though you guys look like scuffed, cut, tattered, and just worn and we tired, do doesn't yeah. give a shit. Mm -hmm. Like, there is no, mm -hmm. there's no look of sympathy in this man. He, it's like just stern discipline. Oh, I got to pull out my new cards. These cards. have his moves on it. Some of them. I have a thousand he's yard a, stare right now. I'm fucking, zoning out. We're fighting. He has a holy <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh deck. It's gonna be great. I bought these cards. I have a single sheet. He has a D deck, dude. I'd, I'd like to use my blue eyes, white dragon. I would too. I would like to put myself in defense position. Hey, anyone who likes D and D, these are cards from um, Mort Morden Kynan's Tome of Foes. I'm combining two of them for her father. Um. 10 points if you guess who they are. He's doing a fucking special summon, dude. Anyways. I didn't even know that was legal. So. Yo, show off the pants. Oh, shit. I guess you're right. Stunt. I, Stunted. yo, check, check Stunt this on out. Him. I, Stunt on him. I, hey. Okay. I the chair shit. Quick. I, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Do a I spin got, for him. I, spin for him. One I got, time. I got, Bring right. it around right. town. Right. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Chill out. Chill out. Let me get back into the DMC so I can kick your ass. So, Unless top of the round, Chip, you are still in this kind of like circular, small obelisk, okay. inside of an obelisk kind of room. It's just so smooth obsidian all around okay. you. And blocking the door is this massive oh. Navy Vice Admiral. He just walked in, hasn't moved, he is a wall. Maybe we should just go back to the desert. So, so you're kind of trapped in here. Here's what I want to know. Um, is this Vice Admiral attempting to attack Dre at the moment? Is yeah. that what he looks like he is appearing like? Beginning to do. He 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 summoned almost like this fire arm and his hair lit up into flames, his skin went like this bright golden yes. color, same with the whole suit. There's kind of like uh oh, like man. swirls on his skin now, and his eyes are a bright glow, and he swirled that arm and he threw this large fire. Like it looked like you guys were about to get hit by just a wall of fire, and then it <laughs> and then he, as soon as he saw that it was Dre who basically counterspelled, he summoned this uh golden fiery spear. And you got or like Staff spear. It looks like right. more like a harpoon. I just want to get an idea of if that is who he's going to attack. You, I mean, even without insight, he basically said, "Like I have to take care of you first. So. <clears throat> okay. So what I want to do is right now, after cowering behind Dre, <clears throat> I want to just kind of move around him, and I want to come for a quick slash across, um, across this this behemoth of a man. Um, yeah, you were gonna say man. I think you mean to, meant to say uh, why the Olympian this, as he was described. Um, You're gonna go for an attack. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna go for an attack and, and slash. Why are you clapping? Why are you happy? <clears throat> I'm just glad that you guys are fighting. And, and, yeah. and slash on him, and I want to say, if you want to take on a pirate, I'm right here. All right, so roll it. 
Let's and see I, I would how he be reacts. also trying to get him to attack me, pretty much. That's all I'm really trying to do. That would have to be... Uh, get uh, his attention. I'll say you can roll to hit, and if you hit, you can roll persuasion. Yep. Or you can roll um, intimidation. So Actually. that is 13 to hit. Nope. All right, and... Is that an offhand? Natural one. Oh, Jesus. Neither hit. <laughs> well, Unfortunately, we are paying, we are paying you do swing uh, like your, your normal skill. It's not that you are, are off balance or scared or anything like that. You have the passion and the and the uh, the motivation to go for these strikes. And as soon as you swift, it's like just as just as the moment as you are going to swipe through him, it almost is like you swipe right through flames. And you go for it again. And this time, it's like it's like you knew you were going to connect, mm. but just at the last second, he was too far away. I I am still going to stand um, yeah, yeah, in yeah. front of of Drake with okay. my swords, kind of just clash together. All right. Uh, I will say you can try and roll in, uh, intimidation, but it'll be a disadvantage because you didn't hit. That's fine. Um, that's fine. Intimidation or persuasion? Intimidation because you're trying to get him to attack you. <laughs> okay. Um, that first one is a 21. Uh, oh, that's oh, a 9. Man. Okay. Close. 9. Could have been good. Okay, 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 okay. Well, um, he doesn't even seem to look at, down at you. He's still locked. His gaze kind of like just auto locks and never moves. Hmm. He's so serious. Mm. Like he's taking in all the information at once. With that, though, everybody make charisma saving throw. Charisma. charisma. Are you good at that? No. I am. 19. Uh, 13. 25. Ah. Ah. What? As you rush up and you take these two swipes and you puff your chest out and you try to be, uh, uh, try to get them to attack you, try to roll that intimidation. You, uh, you end up looking up as you're so close. And this massive presence and the heat coming off of his body and his skin. You're frightened. You are frightened in that condition. Which means that I His can't. presence has frightened you. Pretty so sure you have disadvantage on You have attacks. disadvantage on ability checks oh. and attack rolls while you can see him. And you can't move closer to him until you overcome. You can roll at the end of your turn. Okay. You guys watch as he... It throws that lance up and it sort of like almost like sh turns itself midair so he can grab it and uh, uh it's it's just kind of in this tight space but he ends up like maneuvering in such a way and just pinpoint throws right behind you chip to strike dre and he hits and you watch oh. that flame uh as it pierces through dre it almost seems to like sink into his body and uh uh at the same time as soon as that this flame kind of like spreads around the chest you watch as like uh, Dre basically just kind of like falls over and goes limp, unconscious. Oh, and then shit. he again <sighs> summons another one of those spears. Uh, Chip, does a 16 hit your armor class? Yep. Nine points. Um, slashing damage. So Having. halved with uncanny dodge. And halved. So five. Yeah. And, and, and so again. you take 12 points total, three of that being fire damage. 12. Oh. So 12 halved is six. Six, six halved is three. Three. So both okay. Take three. They both take three. You guys watch as he summons that spear and then immediately just flips it over and stabs it right into Chip and then takes it out and he's going to throw it towards Marshall John. Oh my God, oh. three attacks? This guy is he's fucked, dude. Nuts. He's cracked. And okay. uh, you guys basically watch it. It strikes true into Marshall John, does the same kind of animation as when it did when it hits Dre, but Marshall John at this point gets out of attention. He's like, I don't have a weapon, but I'll help you the best I can. Be careful. Same to you, John. We just got you back. This man is nothing to play around with. Fight like your life depends on it. You see as the camera zooms in on my lips. <sighs> Moist. <laughs> and uh, and I cast Healing Word on Dre. So he is going to regain so seven. So he gets... Yep, just writing it down. Okay, I rolled a one. He gets eight HP back, so he's back up. Okay, so... As soon as he goes unconscious and you can see over, you can actually just turn around and see. Uh, it, you immediately see Gillian. Uh, what does healing word look like? Oh, and he says moist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just say that and then his body just like flows up. Moist and like, like just like, just slightly around Dre's body is just this kind of this gathering of whatever moisture or, or humidity is in the air uh, do. <laughs> And it just kind of- do uh, what I gotta do. It collects around uh, the skin. It kind of raises the hair well. The broken arms of Dre. And you watch as his, his uh, chest expands to show that he has life back in his lungs. And uh, is that all you're going to do on your turn, Gillian? Or do you no. Have... No, because if this man's fire, it I'm going to make him really, really wet. 
and I'm gonna uh, go ahead and you see as uh, water sort of coats my blade and my eyes light up. Oh. And I'm gonna run forward and I'm gonna prophetic screw up. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Woo! Prophetic screw up, babe! <laughs> um, what did you roll? Five. <laughs> prophetic screw up, baby. <laughs> prophetic so screw up, baby. That was a weapon attack. <laughs> we haven't and, hit this guy once. And I rolled a five on it. So. Um, all right, I will now roll on the prophetic screw up table. Oh. And I will tell you what happens. Uh, that was going to be really cool. It was going to be really cool. But let's roll that D8. It's baby. time to roll on the table. Oh. Go fuck yourself. Woo. All right, what have we got? Throw me a, throw me a Gillian dice. I'm gonna uh, what is it, D8? Dice. Yep, D8. D8. All right, I'm going to give you a. It is not your destiny. Give me I'm going to give you a duck dice. Prophetic screw up. Nice. Oh. Wait, that was uh, that landed Clean on all my other shit. Hold on. <laughs> Taking all my dice out of the tray. I need this to be pristine when I roll it. All right, here yep, we go. Yep. Okay. Just. So. Mm. Your eyes light up. I'm smiling so funny. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> You flip the blade out and you start charging towards, arcing with the lightning as soon as you go into strike into his massive body. And as soon as you do, you do hit, you connect and it's- Oh, yes! Your blade gets stuck in his body, which is surrounded by this fire. Give me the- Hang on. And you can't Gil? pull it out. Is he... it, no, it, no, I got him. I definitely got pull him. Pull it out. No, it struck true. Um... Do you have a bonus action? Uh, I already used it to healing word. Then you can't pull it out this turn. Oh my god. <laughs> Jay, I'm stalking your dad. Now, um, don't, don't say it like that. <laughs> if your weapon is stuck, are you at any sort of disadvantage? Well, I can't take my second fucking attack. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> my weapon is, is in a guy. So, so true. I guess I'll just die. <laughs> you can unarmed attack, right? Um, you should punch him in the fucking face. <laughs> can I Punch if you unarm attack, you'll be letting go of your weapon. Oh. Your sword. That seems risky. Listen. I, your sword, you'll I, be letting go of your weapon. You know what? You know what? Again. You know what? You keep giving me dagger eyes. I've, I haven't really. I'm just I haven't really ever you done dagger it. Dagger eyes. It. Sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm holding onto the weapon. I try and pull it out. It doesn't work. I look back at Jay, and I'm just going to fucking take my hand up and punch him in the face, I guess. <laughs> All right. Grow to hit with unarmed right, strike. I'm not very good at it, but I'll try. 19 to hit. Huh? 19 doesn't hit. You watch Gee. as you... Do I get my fist stuck in him too? You watch as... <laughs> <laughs> your fist gets stuck between oh, his pecs. Fuck. <laughs> as you uh, let go of your weapon and you reel back your fist and you go to strike, you hit his fist just comes up and catches your fist with his hand. <laughs> oh! And you can feel that strength rivals yours. We're good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not even looking at you, still looking oh my at God. the other fans. Yeah. Wow, okay. Uh, that's going to end my turn then, for sure. With that, it would be Marshall John, but he's going to take a legendary action. Oh. Marshall John's going to take a legendary action? That's <laughs> Thanks, awesome. Marshall John. I, I didn't know you were so powerful. Do you have our backs? Let me use the mini dice. Uh, and he's going to go and unarm strike you with his big fire gauntlet fist. Oh, me back? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see... <laughs> so... Hey, I take half of this. No, you don't. No, you I rolled don't. a natural 19. It definitely uh, hits. Surely he doesn't have above a plus 28. Three oh. Hmm. Plus nine. Plus so nine. that'll do it. Yes. Plus nine. In fact, that will hit me. Plus nine to hit. In the him. face. You yeah. take uh, six points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, that's not so bad. Four points of fire damage. Okay. That hurts. Archer John runs up. He like slams his fists together. Yes. And he's gonna go and and uh, and then uh, go for like a kind of like overhead hammer fist dunk on him. He roll a two. John. And uh, he as well runs up and he's mighty and strong, but he's still a little slow from being frozen for so long. It just kind of cramps up and just can't get connected with that. John. It is easily evaded. Did you evaded. stretch before this? Fuck. You <laughs> didn't limber up, did you? I'm gonna berserk. You. And then you watch as um, Marshall John kind of like his his muscles ripple and the veins pop out and the hair stands up and uh, his his eyes almost kind of have like this uh, like glossy over like white and instead of like the pupils kind of like disappear or fade uh, and he's going to go for a, another unarmed attack this time in rage 
That definitely hits, by oh. the way. Oh, it hit finally, huh? Yep. Hey, Jay, how do we beat your dad? <laughs> hey, Chip, how do we beat Jay's dad? I huh? don't know. It's... <laughs> he's he's got to know. He's fire. He's fire, and That's somehow right. my sword is still in him. I, how does that even work? I don't know. Jay, come on. There's got to be something. Jay, Run out of ideas Jay, here. what are his soft spots? He has to have soft... Everyone has soft spots. Okay. Jay just says like a million yards there. <laughs> she is like frozen. Cool. So you watch his, uh, he runs up and he misses that first uh, overhead hammer fist strike. And then he just kind of like gets down and clenches his fist. And then he like screams. And as he dies, parts of the, the shirt kind of like tear up uh, near the shoulders where the, like, yes, the, the incline of the chest is, like the upper chest. And then he just goes and he goes for this large uppercut. And he fucking hits that shit. And it sends your dad kind of like on his tippy toes uh, oh. just because of the height to match. He doesn't like jump up or anything, but yeah. it gets his chin is like stretched up, uh, and it definitely connects and does some damage, and um, that's going to be in uh, Marshall John's turn. However, Jesus Christ. and at the top of the round we have <clears throat> Chibo. I'm going to run over, like dash over to Jay. Can I possibly bring um, Dre along with me to go over next to her? You uh, roll a strength check to pick him up, pretty much. Sure, sure, sure. I think... I'd more just be, like, leading him than anything. I don't know if I'm picking him up. If, uh, since he's regained you, that 8 you, HP, I figure he can walk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I'll still roll it. No, it's fine. You're oh, good. Oh, well, good. You're fine. Okay. You can just pick him up with your strength. I kind of kind of just lead her over and, like, back away from this man. Jay, there's got to be something we could do here. J well, Jay! Yeah. Jay! Yeah, sorry. We uh, don't have time! Is there anything we can do here? I think I know something. <laughs> well, does he have any brittle bones? No. Or like, <laughs> or like parts of him that when you stab him, he dies instantly. No. Or have you, have you tried stabbing every part before? No. Okay, so how do we beat him? Gillian. No. We don't beat him. What? Jake, anything. Look at me. Wait for my turn. Can I possibly go and hide Dre behind as anything and then disguise myself as him? Unfortunately, because you guys are in this like, almost like mini, mm -hmm. a very small, like kind of cavern-esque room. It's just, it's basically like a bubble okay. made out of obsidian and you're like all kind of in the back all of right. it and he's at the entrance. I'd at least like to move behind Jay or just out of his field of vision so that I can, I can turn myself to look like Dre. So hiding is a stealth check. Sure. And you can try and hide behind Jay. Yeah. I think you have disadvantages still though. Since yep. you're frightened. Boop, 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 boop. What? Damn. Which yeah, side dude, you on? Whose side is he on? I know. What the fuck? <laughs> it's alright. Natural oh, 20! Wait, 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 wait. Is he within his line of sight? I just looked at it. Who? Chip. I mean, he's everyone is in okay. his line of sight. You have a disadvantage, don't you? That sucks, man. On my natural 20. Natural 20 on the new Chibo dice. On my Chibo dice. Come on! Come on, Chip! Come on! <sighs> Wasn't my destiny. Okay. Um, no destiny here. 10. I still do it, though. I still disguise myself as Dre. Okay. Um, cool. you, Whether he notices or not. You are hoping that he didn't notice. And you go back behind Dre, Jay and uh, disguise yourself as Dre. Mm -hmm. Trying to hide Dre as well behind her. Um, is that your turn? Do you have like a bonus action or anything else you want to do? Um, no, I just, I just am behind Jay. I'll just well, move up on her. You've got to do something here. We're, we're not going to make it out. Chip yells that out to you from behind you now, Jay. Your father's going to take another legendary act. Oh my God. Oh my God. I need everybody to roll dexterity saving throws. All right. Who's close to me right now? Oh, Jesus. Uh, you sure. are up by. Big. I'm Jay by Jay. All right, Jay, you get the plus four. Chibo, you don't, though. Yeah. Do I get whoa, whoa. Chibo's yeah. What is it? Dexterity saving throw? Well, well basically, because you're up you're up by the the big man, right? You're up by the, the vice admiral. Yeah, I just punched him in the face. Hang on. Can I yeah, roll then, to, then Chip won't to get, get out of that being being petrified thing? Or terrified thing quickly? That's right, because you forgot. Yeah. Go ahead. Roll. It's another... Um... Con save? You don't have to... No, 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 no. It's a... Uh, yeah. yeah. It's a charisma saving throw. Right, oh, it's charisma? For this frightened. Five. Now, unfortunately, you're um, still frightened, so you can't move towards him yet. And the dex save was 10. Okay. Uh, uh, my dex is Jay? good. Uh, What's your dex 24. Save? 24? Gillian? 15. Chip and Gillian both yes. take 24 points of fire damage. 
You are reduced to 12. Me? No, just Jay. No, so it's... Fuck me. Mine gets halved um, because it, I have AOE, evasion. So, yeah. so that's going to be 12. Okay. But then half of my damage also goes to Gillian. So I take 30 total, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I take 24, 12, I take six. 30 fucking damage. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I don't know who that is. I don't know what came over me. I don't know who Jesus is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you did this, by the way. And uh, Jay, you watch this basically. God. Oh, so all of you kind of watch it as well. Uh, with that same fist, he seems to, again, pull it towards his chest and do the same thing. Uh, but without uh, Dre's reaction. Ooh. And sends this massive fireball towards all of you. Ouchie, oof, ouchie. And uh, after that, he looks at you and he says, I will give you one final chance before I show you what it's like to lose as a pirate. Oh, it's your turn, by the way. <laughs> oh, oh, cool. Yeah, I mean, he didn't even say, need to say anything. Um, <laughs> Jay just kind of, like, is, is a little bit, like, hurt and down. She kind of looks down and, and looks up to him and, and just says, just stop. Please, just stop. You don't need to do this. If I come with you, will you let them leave? Well, that's not an option. Depending not on what's better for you, mm -hmm. but to what you believe Jay is doing, you can either do persuasion or deception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. Uh, three. Three total? <laughs> I got a natural one on that. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. I'm sorry, bro. That's that's rough, man. Oh, fuck me, man. No. You know what? I don't think you've learned your lesson. Come on, Jay. Shoot him with your classic gun. Jay? Drops her gun. Good idea, bro. <laughs> Go! <laughs> and walks slowly towards her father. A melee attack. I mean, no, you can you can get to him with your movement. Yeah, as she's on her way, she reaches into her pocket, and you just see her whisper slowly into a rock, and like you don't hear it obviously, but you see mouth movements of, and she drops it behind her. Um, and she's going to once again try to convince him to let them go she gets up to him and just puts her fist on his chest and says please just don't hurt them he's looking down at you as you try to weakly slam your fist onto his chest and you guys all watch jay do this with um tears welling up and just shakily trying to convince him to stop um completely unable to put up any kind of fight and he looks down at you and your face is lit up by the glow of his skin his hair and the fire that surrounds his body like an aura and you can feel the heat all of you in the room feel the heat as it makes you sweat not as hot as the sands but hot as a normal fire I have already lost one daughter. I do not even consider that man my brother. If this is how you really feel, I do not wish to, to lose another. I won't hurt these pirates but you will stay in here and you jj you will come home i will see it to it and you're back with your mother away from this delinquency whatever this rebellious phrase might be he doesn't drop like his form or his weapons he just kind of steps to the side to let you pass him. 
Um, Jay slowly walks forward. She walks past him. Um, I will say that is going to be the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. And we are still in turn order. So um, he will not be taking any actions or legendary actions or anything like that. So Gillian, you're up next. I have a question. When does the cube shift uh, shift next? For this whole cube has been shifting this whole time, right? Does it have any sort of rhythm to it or any anything like that? And this, I mean, in this room, there hasn't been feelings of that kind of like shifting hallways. <sighs> okay. But when you were walking through the hallways, it was in intervals of fifteen seconds, maybe okay. around there. Sometimes it would shift faster. So the hallways. It's hard to keep track because yeah. it didn't seem consistent, but it seemed like enough time. Okay. It was it and it wasn't like jerky transitions to where if you were in the middle of it, you would just right. Cut. You know, I got you. I got you. I was I was just wondering if there were rooms basically opposing this one that were switching. So, you guys watched walk through basically a complete what felt like a maze of darkness. You have no idea how you got here. You just followed a wall. Follow Jay. All right. And eventually you ended up here and behind. Um, you watch as, as Jay walks past her flame on father. And <laughs> <laughs> and if she continues to walk, she will disappear into darkness. Yes. Well, unfortunately for you, Mr. Farron, your daughter's made better friends than that. And I roll over and I grab her gun. And I say, if you won't use this, Jay... I will! And I look at it for a second. And you see as it starts to glow with this icy energy. Holy shit, he's got a gun. And I point at that. And I run Jesus straight at him and I hit him in the fucking head with it. I bash him in the head with no, the gun. Get, I get, slam him! Yes! Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Yeah, I was about to say, that's you're your not. Three. That's your three. Yes! <laughs> Alright, is that on, uh, basically an arm strike improvised weapon? <sighs> I catch guess. the catch the cap of destiny. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I suppose so. It's up to you, really. Improvised weapon. Um, um, well, sim no. Simple improvised weapon. You can't shoot it because it's a finesse weapon, right? Um, and you're uh, not proficient. Yeah, I don't want to shoot it. I just want to hit him with it. I would say it's a... Pistol whip. I'd say you have proficiency with it as a pistol whip. Yay! Because you have proficiency yes! with simple weapons. 20 to hit. 20 hits? Fuck Ooh. yes! Okay, okay, okay. Here's the good part. Um, so that is gonna do whatever damage that does. What would that be like a D4 or something? D4 plus for uh, bludgeoning like a gun. I would say you can roll a D6. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Well, it is a gun after all. Oh, maybe I should join the navy. Not. <laughs> oh, um, that is going to do. Uh, um, uh, is this technically dueling since it's one weapon in my hand? <laughs> I don't. I haven't read up on dueling, but I'll say yeah. That's funny. Okay, it does um, nine gun damage, but the good part <laughs> nine blunt damage is that it's gonna do six cold damage, and he needs to make a strength saving throw or get pushed twenty feet back into the darkness. Ooh, that's what I'm trying to do. So please, dear fucking god, don't roll above a fifteen. Mini dice. I'm gonna roll. Mini, Mini dice. dice. This is a big roll. Okay. <laughs> Small dice for big roll. Guys, what are you doing? Mini dice. I feel dejected by your mini dice. I want to see what the roll is. I want to watch it. I don't. I want to. I want to. How die. do you do that? Can we come over there and watch it? No. Come I on. just dropped it. DMing works. Just let him do the That's not how DMing works. Thing. Although I will tell you what it is. When as soon as I drop it. Destiny's Glock. It's a natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's rough, pal. You want to come look at it now? Yeah, no. yeah, I do. Yeah, 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 I'll come take a look. See. I'm not gonna no, look I don't. Anything else? I don't want to look at it. This has been a disaster. That's a natural twenty. This, that's is, a natural 20. this has been a, a fucking 20. disaster. That's Shit, a man. That's Shit. A Shit, I, I, dude. I think, <laughs> I'm, I think I'm sorry. What I just saw over there. Natural twenty. Fuck. It has it in crap. Sorry, what in? Guys. What in the crap? Shit. I'm sorry. No, Fuck, hey, man. Calm down. Sorry, dude. I'm swearing, okay? Watch your language. I'm swearing right now. What the heck? It's against the rules. Because I'm going to Gillian. literally die. Gillian. Look well, at me. Look at me, Gillian. You can't swear right now. Well, My Jay. dad's here. Jay, he He's said a gonna swear get mad word. At you know me. what we gotta do. He's gonna get mad at me because you're swearing. Well, I'm crapping sorry. And then I hit him in the fucking... 
face with a gun. Again. It's not gonna do anything. But I want to. And I rolled a 12. <laughs> and it feels good. It doesn't hit. Jay, check but this it out. Feels good. Ugh, it's just like you. You watch as, uh, as you're, you're walking away. You can, you can respond to Gillian at the end of his turn. Whenever your turn is ending, Gillian. When are you done? Are you done? Almost. Why are you looking that up? Do you know sand tiger sharks eat their own children? Well, you're worse than a sand tiger shark. Because you're eating your children's hopes. He still hasn't looked in your direction. As you run up, you kind of just like slam him on the head and his hand goes <laughs> like just kind of slightly towards the left. And then he straightens back out like almost like uh, in like a very disciplined motion. And then you go and you try and hit him again. But this time it, you, you do strike, but it feels like you're just... <sighs> Give me back my sword! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's in your pecs! It's a bonus action to try and get I it I know! I <laughs> do don't! I already action? did it to hit him with a ice gun! I end my fucking turn! Are you trying to say something? Uh, uh, I turn around. But there are no actions Gillian, that you can do. And I, I just say, Gillian, it's okay. You can stop. No, Jay, it's not okay. You promised. You said you'd do something for me. I slowly start taking off my armor. <laughs> this is not a favor. That's the difference. I'm going to. I'm taking this off. I'm taking it off. You got it. You got it for me. If this is the favor you ask, then I will. I will return it. Let her go. It'll Chip, we took an oath. It'll be all right. I promise. Soon as it's my turn again, I'm gonna hit him with this gun again. And there's <laughs> nothing you can do to stop me. Cause he's not taking Jay. And we did make an oath. And I'm taking off my clothes. Because Jay is wrong. Gil, we can't win here. You know that. No matter how bad it looks. It's our job to not lose hope. <laughs> to not lose hope. And yes, that was so, blood. Come on. At the end of your turn, Gillian and Gay, or and Jay says, <laughs> "I said Gay, sorry. Um, that's not your name. Not there's anything wrong with that. I'm just." <clears throat> Here's your gun back, Jay. You know what? Here's your gun back. And if you want me to stand down, you'll have to do the other thing you do with it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? So. At the end of your turn, that was one. <laughs> most of these things don't actually come up, and then yeah. you said, "Yeah, um, you, um, Jay, you, you." As as Gillian, you watch as Gillian kind of rushes up, and 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 bludgeoning and bludgeons your father in the head, and you say those things to him. Your father, he looks down and he meets your gaze, Gillian. Your Gillian. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, yes, Papa. My name is Gillian. <laughs> That's me now. <laughs> I'm fucking lose it. I love Gillian. <laughs> so that's much. me, Gillian. Uh, my name Jillian. is my name is Gillian, and I'm sorry. Gillian, crime fighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, dude, it's it's funny because I mixed I mixed J's up with Gillian and say gay and then. <laughs> dude, I forget I forget who said that Gillian said as a human being would basically be named like Fleshman Dude Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Flesh <man> dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. So. He looks down and meets your gaze. Gaze. Eye to eye, Yillian. And then he looks back towards you, Jay, as you're standing in the middle of that dark hallway. And he says, You're really going to let these pirates treat your father this way? I want to believe you, and I do. But I think they deserve some discipline. For taking you away from your home, don't you think? Discipline them, Jay. Got to, got to do the, got to do the bang. Go ahead and roll, Anime bang. Jay. Why'd you just dramatically sweep your hair over one of your <laughs> eyes? Go ahead and roll, charisma saving throw. Uh, that's not amazing. I don't think I'm destiny right now. I was, it's, you know, it's okay. I, I choose to fail anyways. <laughs> So, despite my role, my bad role, who needs it? Ugh, get it out of here. Are we throwing <laughs> dice now? With his legendary action, you are given a command. And you cannot refuse. 
if you do. Is it just discipline? Uh, yes. Gillian. Gillian? Would your, you let me friends. would you let me rip off my fucking chest plate and just stand there? I mean I, cause I wanna. You would be no armored again. I know. This was her favor. Is it is it sure. Can I also take off the bandana? Yeah. And just remove the disguise. Ugh. You can try and resist, My sleep but is too weak. you will take the consequences of resisting his command. Can I interpret uh, the command however I want? It is, uh, it's not a one word command. It is quite literally a like, his, it is his thing. Jay, if you want me to let you go, you're gonna have to do it. Yeah, Jay. Discipline. Them. Now. If it is my destiny, then so be it. Does a 10 hit your armor? Yes! <laughs> my AC is 8! What are you hitting me with, Bo? Uh, yes. Cool. Add a d12 of fire damage. Okay, oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, there is just no way. Uh, 15 total. Okay, yeah, Gillian's down. Is, is he? Yeah, absolutely. Holy shit. Yeah, I took 30 last round. I didn't realize you were that low. Yeah, he's down. Holy <laughs> fuck. You took off your armor, you're fool. Yeah, I fucking- No, I'm not a fool, dude. <laughs> you're fool. I'm honor bound, bro. You're fool. You had a stupid fucking favor. Should have should have done my favor. Nope, <laughs> motherfucker. What does it look like as you walk up and basically uh, um, you are compelled to clock Gillian? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you saying? Um, as you walk right past your father and the flames kind of just uh, uh, as you pass your dad, they almost like expand onto you like trees lighting each other in the forest. She so very you're have, like this like flamey shoulder cape thing. <laughs> She very hesitantly kind of walks up with her face down and like bangs in front of her <laughs> eye. You know, anime, right? Silhouette of the face, nothing else. I can hardly see a thing. And as she gets closer to Gail, draws her bow mm -hmm. and shakily pulls it back. Mm -hmm. He's just holding himself <laughs> bare, basically. Kill me, bro. <laughs> I'm killing you too right now. I let it go. Oh. Jay! Strikes right into the middle of your sternum. Mm -hmm. And you can see from the undershirt of his armor that kind of like bluish, greenish, whatever color blood Gillian has underneath those, those mo that moist skin starts to spread throughout the shirt. He drops to one knee. And um, he drops. And he says, I run up to him. Your choice is your own, Jay, and sincerely. I hope it was worth it. And he drops. <laughs> her eyes are, her eyes are glowing this bright orange, the same as her dad. I'm looking up at Jay like like she's just just disgusted. Gillian went down with a smile too. Shit. Yeah. There's one. Do I have the attack chip too? Is that a thing? She I didn't have to attack. I thought it was just a command. Command. You don't like necessarily have to attack Chip, but I don't, yeah, that's I'm what he says. To. I'm not going to. Just lean back so I can look. What? Just want to look you in the eyes. <laughs> you suck. I'm already crying here, bro. Come on, man. Is Jay uh like obviously crying? And yes, very obviously. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> I guess it works. Now I have a clear. I have a clear line of sight. And she's looking down, and her her bow hand is shaking, like like crazy. And she looks up to Chip. You want to know my secret so bad, Chip? I was using you. From the beginning. <laughs> what do you mean? Using me? I just, I wanted to get closer. To whoever killed my sister. I, and I did whatever I could. I, can, I convinced the Navy to let me go undercover. <laughs> And and you're you just happened to be there. I was just using you. 
So all this, everything, it's... It meant nothing to me. She turns around. I don't believe that. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I don't Shit, believe Marshall that John, either. Why are you here? He watches Marshall John oh has God. one arm underneath the Dre, oh. and he's just kind of, like, holding him up there. And then Dre is, like, sitting here, like, he's like, uh, line of sight, brother. <laughs> line of sight. Little's left. And, uh, it is Marshall John's turn as he helps Dre stand up. And uh, from behind you guys. <laughs> Dude, I'm like fucking crying. <laughs> Dude, tell me about it. I'm Dude, a fucking mess. I was mess. trying not to visibly fucking sob well, Dad. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, so <laughs> I was just glad I was just looking at this. You can see my fucking tears on my pages. <laughs> oh, God. From behind the scene. Uh, Marshall John helping Dre up to his feet and, and lifting his head because he's too weak to do anything. Dre once again opens up that eye and this golden flash, you swear you hear the sound of a distant eagle and it's this bright blinding light shoots forward and it's like a ray that shoots right past you. All of you and a kind of like gust of wind blows in this dark chamber. And it strikes true directly into the center of your dad, who is standing there watching with almost no discernible emotion. Actually, go ahead and roll a persuasion. Persuasion? Yeah, with advantage. With an advantage is the DM sniffles. Uh, 20. <laughs> I say no discernible emotion. But looking at him right before he, right before he's struck by this kind of like, what seems to you guys as one blinding light, except for Gillian because he's knocked unconscious. By the way, Gillian. I have oh. this thing for you. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, I, just, no. I, I ordered this to your house. I didn't know in the I right time I never thought was. it would be being used on it me. It is a dirty 20. Look at this bitch. God, that's huge. Woo! Oh, that's oh scary. Oh my god. Shit. That's oh. menacing. Oh my god. You're going to roll a natural one with that. Yeah. For all you audio listeners, he has this giant dice tower of bones. <laughs> of just you used all three. They're over. Damn of it. Skulls and bones and the literal Grim Reaper of death. And I think he's about to ask me to make a death saving throw in it. I'm going to walk it over to you. One oh, second. God. Don't talk to me, bro. You did your best. <laughs> Most of us did. <laughs> Alright. Not your turn yet, so you don't have to roll it. When that light, that kind of beam, this almost like soaring uh, eagle of light, uh, small for just, you know, to fit into the room, not as large as maybe it would have been. Um, Chip, this is not something that you remember, but you know for a fact that uh, this is some Dre shit. Some and it, uh, shit. it strikes right into him, into the chest, and you watch this. <laughs> Fly straight back foot into the darkness. Um, the, the sword of Gilliam, obviously still impaled, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And uh, you lose sight of her father. And then you hear this distant, almost like a crashing sound. Um, and then a, multiple crashing sounds. Oh my God. Um, at this point, with my hand still on Gil, uh, down on the ground, what I'm going to do is try and help Gillian in some way. Um, and as I'm... As I'm bandaging him, I just look over to Jay and say, I don't care what you were before this. You're a Riptide Pirate now. <laughs> you gotta act like it. And I want to roll medicine trick on so my boy. On my ahead. friend. On my go fishy... Ahead. Fishy friend. Fishy... F -word. Careful. I need an F word. Go ahead. Fred... Fred not friend. Friend is too Fred. Easy. My fishy Fred. Where's medicine? There it is. I have a minus one. Oh. Seven. Seven? Not Seven. Great. You take a death save, I'm pretty sure. Oh, fuck. Is that what that does? I guess when you so. fail a medicine check to stabilize someone. What? Here, I'll see, I'll see from saves. this point forward. We'll set the president. You ever roll a natural one on a medicine check to um, stabilize somebody? It's a death save. I mean, it's okay. a death fail. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, for yeah. him just now, do I get a fail or nothing? No. Okay. No. It will say no. Well, you just can't. Good. You just can't stabilize him. He doesn't come back up. He's still unconscious. But you try to bandage him. You're trying your best. Yeah. Um. Next up is going to be Jay in the turn order. Oh, is it me? Yes. 
All these things just happened around you. Jay, Jay still has her back turned and her fist is kind of clenched and shaking right now. And uh, she she turns around slowly and says, you don't mean that. Of course I do. <laughs> you guys don't deserve this. You, you don't deserve to deal with my family because of me. <laughs> You don't think I thought maybe once you might not be completely sincere? Top person in the Navy wants to become a pirate? I, I didn't know, but... I don't know. I did see it in your eyes. But I don't want you guys to die. And don't let us. And she, she leans down and she pulls out a health potion. And and kind of forces it into Gil's gullet. Okay, roll the health potion. Mark it off the sheet. Make sure it's gone. Yep, for sure. No. Sorry, cool dice roller. <laughs> it was almost your turn. You want to roll it? See what happened? Yeah. Just for uh, just, just for, for, for vanity's sake. Two d four plus two. Thirteen. You would have oh, passed. No, that would have passed. That's nice. That was fun. Roll oh, it two more times. Again. Okay. I just yeah. want to see if Gillian was dead before. Thirteen. Three. One one, one fail. 11, two, two, two passes. successes, one fail. Four, two, two fails. fails. Two fails, two successes. Oh my god, the this last is the one. one would have been. A pass, hey! Is that a 17? That's okay. 17. Destiny has not willed your death today. Uh, It's gonna be eight damage total healed. Eight. Yeah, okay. Eight healed, you mean, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, no, Jay? It's a potion of poison. Right, right Jay? I killed, I killed Gillian. <laughs> I can't press this button anymore. Um, yeah, you got your, three. You, you got, got three. you got way more than your three. No, well, I had to do what I had to do. Gillian, Push just, healing. You, you're back up. You can slowly open your eyes, and, and above you, you know, trickling potion into your mouth is Jay. She's also still sobbing. Completely, yeah, yes, she looks sobbing. like a wreck. Her eyes aren't glowing like they were when she shot you, and Chip is above you trying to bandage you up. Behind you, you can feel the presence of Marshall John standing and holding another figure up, <laughs> and you don't feel that fiery presence of... Of, uh, sorry, I just said hi to somebody. <laughs> you don't feel that fiery presence of Jay's father. Hey, co-captains. Jay kind of uh, bundles her fist up again and kind of slams it into his chest a little bit. Not hard. <coughs> <laughs> oh, that's right where the arrow was. <laughs> Oops, my bad. <laughs> you idiot. Why are you I'm still here? I might not be for long. If he comes back, I... I can't. I can't let you guys do this for me. What do you. What do you really want? And just say it so I can fight for it. I want to keep adventuring with you guys, Gil. That's all I want right now. That's what I was really hoping to hear. How can we get the fuck out of here? <laughs> Gillian, it is your turn. Do something quick. Um, well, I don't roll in the death save thing. <laughs> Thank God um, bless. Oh God. I got to bust it out at least. That's now, true, you did. I wouldn't suppose he happened to get blasted back and left a thingamajig lying on the ground. <laughs> I think it would be investigation. God, um, how lovely. <laughs> as, I, as I get uh, up. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, investigation. Uh, it is our destiny to find a way out. <laughs> a one on, on destiny. 16. 16. I have a minus one investigation. Mm -hmm. well, you wanted you to know. It. You canceled that at least. I did. I did. Um, you are looking around and uh, in this, like, basically the inside of a, you know, obsidian chamber you anything that would be a way out anything that looked like a way out is like there's only one exit the way that you came in but from what you've learned from dre about coming here many many times getting into the same place you know already that going backwards won't lead anywhere so you begin to look around and you notice <clears throat> just barely only because of that little sliver of moonlight that is peeking through into this chamber reflecting off of 
a very small <laughs> golden pin about the size of a half dollar or so a little a little shorter a pin yeah well oh. it looks like it's just something shiny oh. but you pick it up i assume um i'll actually uh point at it jay did you drop something no i still have everything and i check my hair for my pin which is not in my hair right now <laughs> i couldn't <laughs> buy one it's not jay's pin but if you go to pick it up mm -hmm. uh, as you get closer it doesn't seem to be a pin at all it is this sparkling red with a little glowing orb acting as a jewel and it's almost reddish brick ring. Hey, what is, what is that? It's a ball. It's not a ball. It's What's glowing that help to gel? Do you think that's a doohickey? I mean, if there was gonna be a doohickey, this looks pretty doohickey. E. It's a ring. Oh, a ring. Yeah, I don't. I th I thought I made that clear that you call it a ball. I didn't know if it was I just thought, no. I genuinely thought it was. I no, thought, it's I, a ring. I didn't actually pick up it was a ring either. It's a. It's a. It's. Wait, turn it that way. It's literally a sparkling well, red it's brick a ring. ring. <laughs> and on the, on the acting as the small jewel, <laughs> acting as a small little jewel, is this red orb. Here you go, navigator. I take it out of his hand slowly, and I and I look at it. Um, I don't have um much left in me, but if we can free the people here, and Jay is going to use her last first level spell slot. To identify this, is it instantaneous? I believe so. Let's check. It might be one minute. I swear to God, if this bitch comes back, that's a good question, actually. Ooh, oh, shit. oh duration in instantaneous. Wait, it says casting time one minute. Fuck. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> let's go find a desert. <laughs> if if it, if I feel like I'm actually at risk, uh, I'd rather just try to like identify it using more instantaneous means than. Uh, you can't do a ritual on your like in initiative order because uh -huh. it takes like five minutes or so. Okay. It would be like, and yeah, I'm just gonna look at it and like glean what I can based off what I know. Yeah, you're able to get it. Uh, he, you give it, uh, Gillian. You give it to Jay, and um, you can. I mean, just by looking at it. Uh, actually, go ahead and roll Arcana. I know it's a little it's out of destiny. it's a little out of turn order. You, already you know rolled. what? You it's already rolled, destiny. by the way. Okay, well, so you have to. Ask either way, are you said Arcana? Ah, yeah. well, it's a plus four anyway, so I think I'm at seventeen for that. Uh, it's definitely a magic ring. Mm -hmm. It is infused with arcane, and it is it just by looking at it, it quite literally matches the interior and the exterior of this block, this building, all the hallways that you've been in. Yeah. The same sparkling red brick material wraps around the ring with a little uh, red. Or <laughs> she's gonna whisper under standard breath. <laughs> Destiny is a funny thing, isn't it? <laughs> As she looks down at this ring. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh shit. That is funny. <laughs> That's so Gillian. <laughs> That's so good. I'm so glad you said that. I'm really <laughs> glad about it. <laughs> Marshall John basically just uh, puts a dray on his piggyback and he says, Hey, whatever that magic bullshit is, let's get going before he comes back. You're here. And then you just look at okay. Dre. It's just kind of like passed out, dangling like a drunken sailor on the back of the big Marshall John. Uh, mm -hmm. That's basically his turn. He's holding his action and his movement to follow along with you guys. Next up is Chip. I'm sure we're walking through the door, right? Like that's, I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing. Uh, Wherever you, we are headed, I would like to be like, like the usher them through and be on the, on the on back. The back? Side. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to be in the back of the march or yeah. you're basically holding your turn to go yeah. back. <laughs> okay. Um, at the end of your turn, Chip, all of you. Can I reroll quickly to the thing? For, for what? For the being scared of this guy. Go ahead. Oh, are you still? Oh, okay. Sorry, Chris, yeah. saving throw. Hey, Just in case what? he you comes have, back. You have a plus four. Hey! 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 Charisma. Mm -hmm. Boop, 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 bo
You get that uh, that courage back, that that pirate bravery and gusto. stupidity, the gusto. Yeah. Yeah, that you have learned in your childhood and your youth. However, at the end of your turn, all of you here echoing from deep into the uh, the hallways of darkness. It's just kind of like reverberating to you. You can hear it and you hear. Jay. Oh, boy. Because you are my daughter, I will give you a head start. <laughs> this is all echoing. <laughs> Spooky but scary. you better run. And you better run fast. Because when I catch you, you will no longer be a daughter to me. Just another pirate. Um, and you can hear like just there's some kind of movement, but it's like in the distance, and it just it is, this is loud and echoey. I obviously can't yell in that voice, but mm -hmm. uh, next up is your turn, Jay. What are you guys doing? I try to channel my energy the through on. this ring. Yeah, I put All it right. on. Yeah, Dope. that's what you're supposed to do. Cool. Anyways, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you put this ring on, and you all watch as uh, this light begin. This red light begins to glow around her finger and illuminate her skin, and you, Jay, as well. And you guys, if you if you look closely enough, you can see like little sparkling, almost like uh, fairy trails or small. Uh, 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 shimmers of just red sparkles in her eyes as she puts this ring on and she looks around and jay immediately this darkness is almost like opened up and you can see like a, a, like almost like red veins that travel throughout the hallway giving this hallway shape and you feel a sense of almost control so oh, oh. what this ring allows you to do is walk off the beaten path mm. so uh, on your turn, using this ring, uh, it's kind of a, a uh, um, understand immediately as you wear. Yeah. These hallways are an option for a pathway, mm -hmm. but there's an option to go through them as well. You can follow the veins, which is basically like a, a, a like a, a circuit, a network that shows you, you know, kind of like when you use the eyeglass and one, uh, light, was one line was lighter. It's like that with the veins, uh -huh. although you know that you can shift the very walls to okay but it does um cost an action it will require some kind of check okay so what are you guys doing um well jay quickly kind of she she wipes her tears from her eyes at this point and and puts her head up and she's like follow me and she starts running she starts sprinting Okay, so... And she wants to... She's going to try to, obviously, shift it to the safest path. Okay, you roll an Arcana check. I need to know what the marching order is going to be, and we're going to transition into Chase Initiative. Well, you should probably be first. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. So, leading. first? Jay would be leading, yes. All right, who's behind Jay? Um, Maybe Marshall John. Marshall John's carrying Dre, right? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll go... I'll go in front of him, then. Okay. All cool. right, so, Jay, Gillian, Marshall John, and Chip. Uh, in that order, Dre on the back of Marshall John. And uh, you guys begin running down the hallway uh, at the start of this. Is you guys want to do anything else before you leave the chamber? Uh, did I was I mean was that I feel like it was technically not a favor and a favor at the same time. So I was just gonna should I just leave it here or put should it I back on? Put it on back. Put it back put on. It back on. You sure? Yes. Okay. I'll say I'll still owe you one then. He's going to kill us. Okay. I still owe you one. Gil, what about your sword? That's sad. That's gone. <laughs> they fly away in his packs. Um, I mean, he was stabbed like right in him, and yeah, as he yeah, got yeah. sent away, that sword is gone. Can I pass Gilliam one of my short swords? I'd be like, use this for now. I want the gun. <laughs> I pa I'll pass him my gun. <laughs> use, this, right. use it smartly. This will have to do. <laughs> All right, Charlie, you can only make three sounds. I'm, not gonna, I'm never going to shoot it. Why? Because I'm going to beat people with oh. it. That's better. <laughs> we totally forgot about your exhaustion point, but it's oh, whatever. Oh, right. It's whatever. I'm just telling you that you have it now. Oh, um, God, that's bad. It's fine. Whatever. Well, now it's much harder for me to pass oh, this arcana yeah. check. Yes, well, go ahead. I would Hold argue go ahead. that this is pretty much <laughs> your destiny. Take this out. I'm going to throw it over oh, whatever right, it right, lands right. on. Bazinga. Oh, nice. Oh, hey. All right. 16. Let's go. I rolls. Okay, plus four, plus four, 18. So you begin following the veins, and as soon as you reach one of the dead ends, uh, you notice that 
there is immediately kind of like a break where your father presumably was crashing through these these uh this almost like darkness maze to you uh -huh. now you can see it looks like a maze yeah. uh, or some kind of labyrinth here of darkness and um you walk up to one of the walls and uh and using what the power in this ring is trying to basically infuse yeah. into you kind of like claw my hand forward in front of me and like bring the path out yes cool. and as you do that you guys can't see but at first you hear just sort of like the clinking and clinking or whatever like the, the bricks the brick sound where they're like building on top of each other but as it does this you can see this sl red sliver of light starts to peek throughout the darkness and then before then it's an archway a doorway and it is just glowing into this room lighting up kind of this um the actual like place itself doesn't have any formation it just looks like that black obsidian you've been walking through like black obsidian hallways with no light but now you're looking into this almost like red portal or gateway and as you do you can see the bricks start to form in front of you to create this pathway leading outside of this hallway into something else and you guys begin to i assume run forward yes yeah all right so um you guys are going to be using your dash uh, at the max if you want to use more of it you have to, i think you make a con save to run okay. further um um what if we all did <laughs> okay so basically you guys use the dash action uh, a number of times of equal to three plus your constitution modifier and for each dash after that you have to succeed on a dc 10 constitution check okay so, um here's what i would like to do if you'll allow me or is there is there's initiative right now isn't there uh can I we mean, just it, like it's chase initiative to see like what you guys do on your turns can but, our turns just be together right now, basically? That's, like, how, that's how I'm moving it, because okay. you guys are moving as a unit. Yep. Cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, Gillian runs! <laughs> okay. So, I, as I am running, am going to leave uh, some, some ball bearings behind for my boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Alrighty. Yeah. I'll, I'll try and keep up with everyone, because that would be my action with it. You don't have to roll anything for ball, ball bearings, that's right? That's funny. All right. Nope. But it, is it not my action? Or is that bonus action? Pretty how, sure it's action. How about just um You can dash as bonus action anyway. Oh, and then I'll okay. bonus action dash. Alright, it's fine. Sweet. You uh <laughs> Finally You guys continue running to work and once. uh chip as soon as you guys emerge into this kind of or emerge through this kind of like red uh, portal or gateway, you start throwing down ball bearings behind you and you notice that the bricks uh are the same sparkling red bricks and you look around and there is no floor. In fact, all of you look around oh. and what you are running through you seem to be running through this kind of like endless web. Looking all around you guys, there's this like web of shifting hallways of that red sparkling brick. And all around you is this intertwining red astral energy that is just throughout the entire space. It's almost like being inside this massive galaxy of red stars and nebulas. And then there's just uh, all these hallways that are like shifting together and then moving Whoa. up and down and like moving in kind of that 90 degree uh, sort of uh, formation and as you guys are running down the pathway like i said the bricks are forming at the edge of the half uh, at the edge of the pathway as you guys are taking your steps and um all right so jay at the top of the round here go ahead and, and make another arcana check i don't know if it, i don't know if I, it can be your destiny because it's not my turn i'm not sure it can be your destiny it's your destiny Hey, that's four. That's I, li a, that's a four. I that's like four you saying it. <laughs> it. Hit my belly, thank God. <laughs> that's really why I do it. Fifteen. Four, eight. Oh, that's a twelve it's become my favorite thing ever total. Is All right. It is your destiny. It is your destiny. So, um, the you guys have to move just a, a tiny bit slower as the bricks start to like kind of like falter and fall off and you guys are running on kind of like a tightrope for a second and then yeah. it comes back and then a tightrope uh and as that happens right before you're able to take your turn if there's anything you want to do everybody make a deck save as you oh, hear this stumble <laughs> shit all right boys it's coming from so behind you plus, you get plus four, four and yeah. a d4 uh you don't get the d4 because that didn't happen. no okay yeah okay okay, okay. Sorry. all right plus four mm, that's not gonna do it good luck Ooh, nice. 22. Dex save? Yep, just a dex save. 19. 19? 14. Can I roll a disadvantage to help him? That is not how this works. Bye bye. Ah. Sorry. It's okay. Sucks that I have all the healing shit though. Yeah. So, don't yeah. Even... Maybe you can take my hand and slap it against my face. Well, I was just thinking <laughs> if I was leading you, right? Like. Yeah, no, I get you. Okay, so you guys take uh, 10 points. I'm down. Five points, five points. I don't take any. Okay. Yep. I'm absolutely. Uncanny not. dodge? No, it's not uncanny dodge. What are you doing? It what are you doing? Is, um, 
It is called Evasion. You get a level seven as a rogue, and basically you when can you're subjected half damage to an effect that allows you to make a deck right. saving throw to take only so half damage. So as this, uh, as your your connection and control over the power of this this uh, ring that is basically allowing you to walk through uh, the very machinations of this cube or this block, this cube, um, it starts to falter, and as it does, this red, fiery, swirling astral energy starts to zip and through and 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 pierce into your skin and your bodies, and it just kind of like floats through you, almost like spectral ghosts. And uh, uh, unfortunately, you fail to save. Yeah. And you guys uh, hear and watch as Gillian, right in front of you, uh, or right in front of Marshall John, just kind of like starts to fall forward. Marshall John has a turn, but actually, it would be right after yours. Wait, do I? Was that that was my action, right? My my Arcana. That is the action. Yeah. Okay. You are controlling it. Uh, he's not able to catch you, but he has to jump over you to keep running. Do I have to make a death save, or was it my? I don't remember who's if it was going to be my turn there. Um, I guess it would, so make it with the tower, baby. It's All right, back. listen, I'm just looking for excuses to use the tower, okay? I'm fucking honor bound, I gotta say it. Chip, you're up next, by the way. You're on deck. What is it? Three. Three. Fail. Mark it on your sheet. It's done. <clears throat> so what exactly is happening to Gillian right now? Oh, I'm dying. He basically has these, like, uh, this uncontrolled energy, these, like, bursts of red, almost like, it feels like, it looks kind of like special, spectral astral... Uh, red wisps and ghosts that kind of like fly through and and onto you and it burns and sears mm. uh, But you guys are able to like kind of avoid it, but Killian can't and uh, unfortunately it, it does enough damage to knock him down <clears throat> And he trips Marshall John has to step over uh, but he gets, seems a little hesitant to keep running keep on going, He's already John. carrying somebody yeah, else. Yeah, keep yeah, on yeah. going. Gil! Uh, 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 hey, buddy, you're not going down that easy. I want to try and pick him up. Make an athletics check, Chip. Okay. Athletics, if you would please. It's not your destiny, because I'm dead. Oh, fuck. Seven. Okay. I want to kind of fire him and carry. Come on, come on. Oh, God. Come on. I will say, you can pick up Gillian, but you are moving much, much slower. It's fine. So. Just keep going! Back at the top of the round, go ahead and make another Arcana check. Do I have to right now? Or uh, can I do something else? Have You're, you are making the Arcana yeah, check to be able to, to, to control where that you guys really are going. Villain. Okay, so that is my full action though, right? You can, uh, what do you want to do? I have one more spell slot that I want to use on Gillian. I was at all out. Okay, Depends. so first of all, Arcana check. Not great. Uh, God, I wish I didn't have You do not have the Destiny, he's down. Destiny it's is true. down. It's Destiny true. is dead. It's true, Destiny is Long down. Long live free will. <laughs> Okay. That's a, I think that's a tanner. Okay, all right. Um, what's your spell you're using on Gillian? I'll allow it. Um, it's a chase. I want to use cure wounds at level two. That's kind of clutch. It is, yeah. So I'd, I'd stop. I'd like stop. That's kind of clutch. You'd have to turn back around. I heal yeah. eleven. Yep. You're back. <sighs> you joined the fray, but you are behind Marshall John. Okay. I'm not leaving you behind. All right, Gillian's back. Okay, kill him. <laughs> um, no more, no more fast <sighs> things coming at me, please. Okay, so in that case, you are going to be behind ship. Okay. Um, Why are you so heavy? Um, I carry all this stuff. Was ten? What? Arcana, Arcana was, was a ten, ten. Yes. Okay. Uh, make your deck saves. Fuck me, boys! I'm going to die. <gasps> what? Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Gillian, Gillian, Gillian. Do Gillian, I have any Gillian, plus Gillian. to this? I forget. Four. Four. That's a one. Ooh. Fourteen. Ooh. Ooh. One. Jay, get something good, please. Oh, I got uh. Twenty, I think. Twenty is good. Twenty is very good. At the end of it. Good for you. Good for you. This is looking. So, we're looking dire straits here, boys. Luckily, I rolled uh poorly. Four, four, two. Still up? Yep. For now. Alrighty then. In that case, Ooh, next up in the turn order, but uh, if you guys don't want to do anything specific, you can let me know now and we will continue to chase without doing actions. Running. Who's next in the turn order? It's going to be uh, Marshall John, and then Chip, and then you. Okay. <coughs> I think I sucked in a hair, but what I meant to do was this. <laughs> um, and I am now going to uh, harness divine power using my channel divinity and give myself a spell slot back as a bonus action to cast Bless as my full action. Um, as I, yeah, create that, that sort of shield a little bit of water around us. It's just going to give us a plus D4 to our saving throws here for yeah. our deck saves. Yeah. 
All right. Um, right on. That is going to be my turn. I'm probably going to fall behind since I can't sprint. Or I guess, yeah, because I can't take the dash action. Okay. I mean, you can uh, make the constitution check if you want to keep up. Just to check, right? DC 10? Yep. Destiny? <sighs> I guess not my action. So I... Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. 11. All right. <laughs> Ooh. So, uh, back at the top of the round, Jay, make your final arcana check. You guys are running through this almost like twisting and turning. You're like, it, it, sometimes the path will move upward in a loop and you'll rush over a hallway. Sometimes you'll duck underneath, run left. Uh, sometimes you are, uh, at, at times, Jay will open up a, it's too late. Jay will open up like a pathway in a hallway. You'll run right through it. Um, and uh, what is your arc Dude, he rolled and then with pleading eyes looked at me, destiny? 15. <laughs> okay. I got 11 and 14. Okay. You guys continue the chase um, or you're running. And you hit one of a, a, a one of these like large brick walls, and you do the clawing motion to open it up. And as you do, you see that same kind of uh, almost like a, the, the dark, uh, the black doorways that you've seen before, running through all of these hallways. And uh, as you emerge into it, you guys step back out of the prison. Oh. <laughs> onto the stone, basically the only dock, stone dock walkway into this building. And you all see. Please. It is nighttime. And at the very end of the stone walkway, as you guys kind of like rush out and you all kind of collect your bearings, you look around. You can see your ship docked in a almost like a, a wall of Navy ships. One of them, a huge, massive, with a uh, big white sail and the symbol of a black eagle over a golden sun. Oh, they bring the ship! Oh, that's a lot of that's ships and not bad. ours. Okay, everyone, to the undersea. <laughs> Grab them and jump in the water. <laughs> what? What do you mean, what? To the undersea? Yeah. Well, I just said that as a bit, but basically I'm getting us not in their line of sight. Um, I mean, there's just oh, so one, actually very, this is one, long, I'm like, one long stone how? pathway that, that your ship is at the very end of and you're at the opposite end. Oh, so our ship is still there. Yes. Yeah, it's just, it's docked at the at the bend. Oh. It's basically, so your ship is right uh. here. There's a long stone pathway. You guys are over here. And then in the half circle behind your ship is this kind of like a, a few Navy ships and then one big one. I guess we could try and still do it sneakily. I think I'm gonna stealth throw them, yeah, throw them to the side and, and I'm gonna try and see if we can sort of stealthily swim up to the ship. Okay, roll stealth check, everybody, if you guys are willing. Yeah. Do yeah, I get sure. disadvantage from plate in water for stealth? Cause I'm just trying to- conception. Would you have advantage in water normally? No, no, I have so, disadvantage on stealth normally. That's so you I'm probably asking. would still have the disadvantage if- Well, the, it's it's from it like the... clinking around, that's why I'm asking. It's cause it would be like- mm, swim, It would still like make a lot of sound. Well, yeah. I can, I'm just swimming like underwater. Cause mm -hmm. I can do that, cause I'm a fish. So, up to you, DM. It's that was really bad. No, just, I mean, like, physics. No. Group check, though. Physics still was fun. Like, you, won't, you don't make sound, so no. Oh, okay. So, just regular. <laughs> Great. Well, I got a natural 20 and a 15. Well, that's okay. cool. I got yeah. a 2. 14. Uh, you guys all kind of immediately, as soon as you see this site at the end of the dock here, the stone dock, you duck into the water. Gillian taking the lead and his uh, uh, tactical training. This is immediately his thought. Guerrilla missions. <laughs> <laughs> Try to grab all of you. Marshall John holding Dre is like, oh, hold your breath. Jumps in. Um, and you guys all, all sink into the water and Gillian pulling people and, and uh, you two with his arms and, and Marshall John holding on the back of his, <laughs> uh, on one of your legs, just kind of like, mm, and like kicking as well to help you guys propel. Uh, you uh, stealthily, as far as you are aware, uh, under the water and you can eventually get to underneath your ship and climb aboard if that's what you so wish to do. It's not a good idea. Oh, well, what else do we do? There you go. To the undersea. <laughs> Plan B. <laughs> we're, we're, we're coming, Dugan. <laughs> no, um. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. This is just the sound of you guys emerging from oh, the water. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, he's here. No, okay. Oh, yeah, Dugan, we, thank you. Yeah, we, we, uh, we gave me the surprise face. Like I was about to kill you. <laughs> I was like, is that a cannonball? No, we get on the ship. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. guys all get on the I ship. Say, and like, we, we, 
I imagine we duck behind like the deck where they can't see us, basically. Yeah. Now this isn't really my thing, but we could probably pull up anchor and make a tactical retreat. I think that's exactly what we do. And and we how are we to gonna get, get through the now. line of ships? We need to get out of here now. And uh, now I agree. Everything. As you guys kind of get on the ship, you're already having this kind of conversation. You immediately hear Ollie go, oh my God, oh my God, you're alive. And he oh. starts rushing down the steps and then he gets low immediately just out of habit seeing you guys all low. Yeah. And then like, he's he's the one kind of intention. He's the only, only one you see at the I'm, moment as he I'm rushes up. I'm hugging the kid. Yeah, you hug him. Oh, hey, hey, man. Um, uh, Listen, we've got to go right now. Jay, with your passive perception, you look up just to peek <laughs> and you can see three ships that are next to the big one on the left side and on the right side, six ships in total. They start to kind of in unison turn a little bit and then move to the sides, drifting, creating this uh, almost like kind of around passing your ship and then going into the sides uh, or, or near the sides of this stone dock, having a very clear um, basically way around. It's no mm -hmm. longer this blockade. And um, anyone who is interested to look, you can roll it like a perception check. If you desire. I guess that would probably be you. Well, do I need to roll one? Uh, I mean, you. yeah, you would have to roll one. Okay. For this. this is what you see with your passive. To see more, you roll. Um, I think that would be a 14. I got 10, 17. Mm -hmm. Oh, 17? Well, well, it was 10 and 17. It was my rolls, so it's 14 total for disadvantage. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, Do you get the plus four still? That's not saving throws. You also, have, you also have, you know, advantage with the spyglass. Oh, uh, do I? Hmm? On perception? Yeah. Didn't I say that? They oh, were like binoculars. I didn't think you did. Well, so that would be a flat roll. Then it would be 17. Okay. Cool. Uh, plus four, 21. Ooh, way better. All right. That's yeah, way better. I'd it's, it's advantage whenever you're using it. Okay, sure. I, I was just reminded. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize. I it. I'll use that. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't remember that. That's I awesome. think I remember that. I need to put that on my items because I haven't done that yet. Fucking oh, I have to. I have to. I have to put the items. Yeah, I kind of figured it wasn't there yet. Yeah. So, uh, you kind of immediately as you start, as you see these ships start to drift apart unnaturally to a navy's formation, as you would know, mm -hmm. especially when creating some kind of blockade. You look around and you uh, whip the spyglass out, and you catch that wide statured form and the white suit as it is faded from being golden on fire stepping at the very end of the dock from where you guys just emerged from and then he stands there and you just see the face of your father very stoic the hands still clenched but he's not coming forward and you just whip your with that perception you whip the spyglass around and you can see uh on his main ship there are people just kind of like running around and and uh one of them near the wheel is kind of like holding one of the same uh cult cells that you guys have although this one is, is a little bit bigger and, and just the white shell and uh <clears throat> they don't seem to be uh looking at your ship anymore and and all these just kind of like crouched down like so these guys have been here for a little bit and um what the hell? Uh, I, I, we can explain later. Listen, it's now I, or never. I, I run up to them. Just, just go, <laughs> go hide somewhere on the ship. If you hear people coming on, just, just stay hidden. We've been hidden, but I'll go hide again. Okay, okay. I'll let you. I hide. roll a natural twenty. Oh! And he rolls up, and he's so <laughs> fucking stealthy, bro. You can hide in my water bottle. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> yeah. I'm so proud of this. You run to the helm, Jay. Yeah, run to the, the helm. What's so everybody good. doing? Raise the anchor. What? Sorry, I was proud of my boy. I go raise the anchor. <laughs> Bottle of sail. I cast gust of wind on the sails. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do I have to make any rolls for for preparing the ship for takeoff quickly, like this? Uh, no. When we get back, I'm gonna get my sword out of your tits. No, we we go into sword still in his tits. <laughs> you don't. You don't. <laughs> That's your three. Okay. That's your three. <laughs> okay, here you go. It's your turn. Yes, for real. Yeah. I get the gun. You get the gun. 
Sweet. <laughs> yeah, I take off a couple shots. They just go in a random direction. This thing's fucking stupid. I give it to him. <laughs> a gun. It automatically reloads. Those You're going to regret this. You get three shots, then it's mine again. <laughs> That's all I need. Don't shoot my dad. One. <laughs> <laughs> you just move whenever you're uh, moving the ship. So you guys undock. And you windows. turn the ship and you just start cruising throughout that, that kind of gap that was created. And uh, you pass by what you assume to be your giant, your father's giant fucking Navy ship. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys start sailing. And you keep sailing. And the only light you're getting is from the moon and the stars that are just glistening off the water as you continue to sail. And the prison and those ships... Never give chase until they're off in the horizon. Do they do give chase once they're off in the horizon? Or they, you don't okay. know? Okay. <laughs> you don't know? And you guys are here uh, at night in the sea. And uh, the door kicks open and it's this skinny, bony, hairy leg. And then you guys hear, Oh, it took you so fucking long. <laughs> Old man, oh. Earl. Earl. You want to know how long it's been? Yes. Three fucking days. Oh, nice. What? <sighs> Earl, we went to a desert. You made us wait out here on the ship. We I had to fish. But I Earl, love fishing. Man, I love fishing. Earl, I can't feel my body. Mixed feelings. Jay is like slumped. Yeah, whatever. Up by the like front of <laughs> so the, you, the mm -hmm. deck. You know where the uh, the pointy thing is at the front. I forget what it's called. Yeah, yeah. And you guys, I mean, you guys would know that mm -hmm. as a little mineral burst out. Ali also comes out as well, and he's as you as you guys are fur, further enough away, he assumes it's time to not hide. And then you guys also see stepping out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How was your prison trip? So bad. As, as no, Alphonse Alphon steps out. Oh, you beautiful shiny metal man. And he now has this kind of like black hat, with like a little chrome band. Where did you get that magnificent? Wow. Old man Earl and Ollie made it for me. Out of some aged leather and a piece of tin metal. Ollie, you made this? Well... Guys, I never did this whenever Gillian went down. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, it's the sound he makes every time he gets hit. <laughs> well, Ollie says... I mean, old man Earl said his wife used to like make stuff and he he picked some shit up and he wanted to show me some what so i mean um he nah, just he funny. has like some trade stuff and uh it's good i like it yeah it's pretty cool I and mean, we got bored because you guys were in there for so long you're telling me don't you get bored as well <laughs> no oh, that's good <laughs> i did not hey gil can you give us some cover you know the whoosh. oh yes here can i see the bandana Sure. Bandana that makes you fart? Sure. That's not what that is. No. <laughs> and then when, he, and then when it, it farts, it makes this big uh, uh, fart cloud. I don't fart. Big, huge I don't. fart. I didn't do that. Thank you for giving me the bandana that <laughs> no, makes you fart. No, help it's me, not a fart push bandana. Push out that spell a little easier, Chip. I, I gotta I gotta go talk to Miss J for a minute. Um, but you just... All right. Sing in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, <clears throat> who, who are these guys? Oh, wait. Oh, my oh, God. Bad? Oh, my God. We'll talk about that later. No, he's gonna freak out. I'm gonna go hide again. Oh, that's our new greasy guy. I rolled a two, and you guys hear, Where's Ollie? <laughs> As he like sits down Dre, and Dre just kind of like oh. falls down onto the ground, like, doo -doo -doo -doo, and he's like, like slumped over, the arm's still kind of fucked up. <laughs> Good luck. What? You... Uh oh. It'll be I, fine. Uh, and uh, you rush up to Jay and, and Gillian, what are you doing? I come back and I drag him by his by his arm. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I want to walk up and quickly just kind of kind of vault over the edge and sit down on it and kind of hunch over. Hey, you guys are idiots, you know. I try to vault over the edge and fall off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are idiots, you know. I just, I just immediately tumble off the ship right after she says that. Yeah, I think I've gathered that so far. In in the face of. The scariest guy I know. You decided to stand up and fight and nearly die. And, and for what? <laughs> for what? Why would you do that? You're, you're stupid. I just kind of push her. Come on. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You do it for me. Yeah. That would. 
she stands up and sort of like stretches out. Uh, it'll be all right. <laughs> I'm not so sure we're out of the hot water yet. Oh, I know that. I just mean, you know. Just eventually, sure. Well, navigator, looks like you finally picked a course. <laughs> Took you long enough. Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> you know what? You guys already know it. But I'm going to say it one more time for the world to hear. My name is Jay Farron, navigator of the Riptide Pirates. I'm going to trust my friends. We're going to fuck shit up. I'm going to be the best goddamn pirate you've ever seen. She like screams out in the distance towards where the prison was. Yeah. There you are. Like she does in that. kind of an intention like like her father is listening. <laughs> I don't doubt it, your shot. We gotta turn this fucking fan off. Because it's making me cry. <laughs> oh that oh it's the fan. Yeah, it's it's the fan. Well, me too. Yeah, me too. Fan. Yeah, the wind is sort it's of in my wind. it's kinda it's like in my the wind's blowing yeah, in my it's eyes. The dude. It's the hair and the paint are just there out. Uh, they must be like an yeah, allergen or something. Yeah, yeah, fuck man. I can't even see Jay, I just see the Joker. <laughs> 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 Don't turn around and smile at me like that. The funny thing about destiny. <laughs> the funny thing about destiny. You want to know how I got that sword? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was actually really important to be okay. <laughs> and uh, she kind of like finishes screaming, I guess, and she kind of loosens up and kind of looks down and looks back up and smiles at Chip a little bit. And... Uh, hugs. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I couldn't ask for better friends. I couldn't ask for a better crew. I look over at where Dre is. Yeah, I couldn't ask for a better crew. I'm glad you got to shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. You <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Well, <laughs> not really, actually. Oh. I'm really sorry about that. You shouldn't have taken no, off your armor. A journey has multiple I'm just, steps. I'm just too good of a shot. I, I All right, can't. come on. It definitely wasn't I like just eight can't bring myself to, to miss. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's what it was. <laughs> oh. You know, I have my honor to kill you. <laughs> I still do owe you that favor. <laughs> I'll call it on one day for something real. So, any uh, any more secrets? You no, guys, I think that's about it. <laughs> you guys here walking up? Um, so you finally figured out that bitch is a spy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he's like holding this. Uh, Fuck you, or <laughs> he's like holding this plate, and it's got three of those uh, um, little like um, uh, uh, mix mix drink, mix of the mix drink. They're juices. Oh, cocktails? Yeah, cocktail glasses yeah, full of it. juice. Um, and they've got like little oranges on each side. Well, it's my classic. Here you go. Seems <laughs> like you've been in there for a while. Did your shit, got the man. Oh, you go, the, you deserved it. What you juice is it. this? It's just my classic. My own recipe. Okay. Foot one. orange. I stepped on it. Not classic, oh, classic. I never thought I'd be I missed, more glad. I missed to... Old Man Earl's feet oranges. <laughs> oh, never thought I'd miss your feet so much. <laughs> All right, one for everybody. Hurry up. Cheers to the Riptide Pirates. Cheers! And the sweet, sweet foot juice. Woo! Cheers. <laughs> oh, that's musty. Mm. Oh, oh, God. Oh. oh, there's... Oh. That is an unnatural tang. Is that pulp? Do you have, do you have something foot fungus? Worse. Stop. Stop now. <laughs> All three of you gain inspiration. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, we fucking do. Oh, shit. Ooh. He says... Hey, you know what? For what it's worth... I'm glad you didn't die. I kept saying you would. I'm what? glad you didn't. I definitely thought about it. We were pretty damn close. <laughs> I don't really care what happened in there, but... <laughs> you're here. And we can continue the adventure. Where to next? I don't fucking care. Okay. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> 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 I'll see you bozos in the morning. 
<laughs> as uh, as you guys make a toast and clink your orange juice glasses, it's some it's some kind of juice. And old man Aro walks away with those slapping, juiced up feet. <laughs> <laughs> As it slaps the deck and you guys smile at one another, a little emotional, a very long and 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 uh, heavy trek through the prison where you found and saved Marshal John and a family member. And it just gets fucking crazier from here. That's where we'll end the session. Mm. Let's fucking go. Oh. oh my god. Two, three. Yeah. 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 That's oh three, my baby. god. That was good. This is the we'll last see episode. We'll just rolled with it, where I'll shoot it a billion more times. Nice. So. This is the last episode we're recording here in person. I think it's very deserving of it. I I like to think. That I was think pretty so too. And wild. Hey, um, thank you for making this possible to the yeah. people that are. Pledging to our Patreon, and if you aren't, and you want to see more stuff like this, um, I'll I'll paint my whole body a nice shade of teal. Hold him to that. <laughs> yeah, no, I will. I'll paint him. I absolutely myself. will. So I go will. over, check out the Patreon, because only because of you guys that we get to do this. Mm -hmm. So, and it's beautiful you. DM, beautiful DM Grizzly. Would you? Give thanks, give thanks. Would you take a bow? Oh, um, yeah, check this out. Stand My up. Let me sir. see your. Let me see your pants. Check this out. What the fuck? All right. What do you got planned? <sighs> Woo! Yeah! Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Oh. And we will see you guys. Anybody who's a patron on Just Roll with It, we're ever gonna talk about. What are we gonna talk about? That Find episode. out. <laughs> I, don't I don't even know. It's Insane. gonna be a I'm lot. I'm gonna slap my suspenders. Woo! See ya. Thank you guys. And uh, bye bye. <laughs> Good night. Oh, I'm free of the wig. No more wig. I'm free ah! of the wig. Oh my god. Oh. And, oh. And just roll with it. Bye. Bye bye. Destiny makes my head itchy. Okay. Well, holy shit. Episode 53 just happened. Um, this is the part where I read out all the names of the high roller patrons that made this wonderful journey so far possible. If you want your name read out loud here, all you have to do is head over to patreon.com slash just roll with it and become a high roller. If that's not for you, we've got plenty of other tiers and so many rewards. Now let's get into it. The Big Motherfucking Cheese, Alyssa, Artemis Loves You, Ben Manny, Blue Blend Blop, Bowling Ball Iron, Buttery Toast, Chalky Driss, Cheshire, Clarence, Consume Cheddar, okay. <laughs> Cornier Comet, Crobins, Death Claw, Derpy Tricks. I have not read the word derp in 1,000 years. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. That's incredible. Edgy Moss, Elise the Washed Up Bard, Everett Stoker, Ex Poogaloo, Gillian's Biggest Fab, Humming Jay, Jay Newell. JRWI Enjoyer, me too. Jumpiest Venus 34, King of Ranch, Lord Ticklefish, Material Seaweed, Misfit Wolverine 15, Mr. Griffin, Netvin, Princess Vegeta, Resha Snivy, Rikor Zin, Riker Kiri. Fuck me, man, this one always gets me. Riker Kirito, what the f. Kirito? Whatever. Riker Kirito, from. Fucking Sword Art Online. I, <laughs> you gotta tell me how to pronounce that one day, Riker. Salutatien. Sandy, 007. Scarab, 5. Serene is actually a skeleton. Soul of Apep. Spinyax. Raytheon. Zerberus. Your gal pal Valerie V. And Zero Codex. Thank you all so, so much. And again, if you aren't a patron, go over to patreon.com slash just roll with it. So until next episode, I will just be rolling. Ah!